New on the night beat at first glance, it's picturesque, a stunning backyard landscape north of San Antonio. But homeowners here say get a little closer and you can smell the problems, sewage problems. Imagine coming home and getting an email saying, hey, please don't flush your toilet today because our, our pumps are broken. We, it, it's unfathomable. In San Antonio, we're always praying for rain because we're constantly in drought. Here we pray that it doesn't rain. Residents tell the night team's Dylan Collier the companies that develop the land failed to tell them about its faulty septic system. And now they're suing. A warning, some viewers may find this story unsettling. It's tonight's Defenders investigation. When it goes off, the sound from the alarm travels well beyond the barbed wire fence and sign telling you not to drink the water. It happens at night, it happens during the day, and Tom Marty still vividly remembers when it happened Easter Sunday while he was at church. The camera can't capture the smell. Marty, like the other homeowners at the villas at Timberwood, had no professional experience in operating a septic system when he bought a home here. Now he says he's an expert at unclogging his neighbor's excrement when the system's pumps get stuck. That's a pretty awesome odor to have to endure at 4 a.m., 2 a.m., whatever. A half decade ago, this green belt was one of the major selling points for the villas at Timberwood. Turns out it's just a thin layer of grass on top of a whole bunch of human waste. It's a trampoline that we didn't pay for. Homeowners Association President Roy Block, meanwhile, says the septic facility was poorly engineered with sewage disbursement lines haphazardly installed. He also claims he was lied to when developers told him the neighborhood was serviced by the San Antonio water system. We did not know that we were going to get into operating a, a septic system. We built it from scratch. Then there's Joshua Gallion. He and his wife wanted to raise their daughter in this neighborhood, but they say that 18 months after moving in. We walked outside and there was a 25 foot spout of just raw sewage water just shooting up into the air. Nobody told us as homeowners what we were getting into when we bought a home here. In January, residents sued the developer of the property and the company that built homes on it, accusing them of fraud, deceptive trade practices, and negligence. And the list goes on. Company officials would not comment on the record and in one instance refused to come out and talk to us when we stopped by, leaving homeowners to wonder if they'll ever get to realize that American dream that was promised them. I lay awake at night not knowing if that is a reality for me anymore. Or the defender, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. The estimate to be able to tap into Saw's septic system at least $1.2 million. Then there's the environmental concerns, including the possibility of sewage runoff in a nearby Mustang Creek. A large number of trees on the property are now diseased and dying.